Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, today we're going to be covering the AX-52. It's the Tenocon 2024 weapon. Uh, this is a very solid primary for just general use. Uh, let's go over the stats real quick. Uh, this has similar issues to the uh, Gotva Prime, which was last year's. Go ahead and unequip this. Uh, base stats, 10 fire rate. One multi-shot makes sense because it's a AK-47 similar weapon. Uh, the magazine holds 40, two-second reload, uh, very full auto, very fun to use. Uh, crit chance is 26, crit multiplier is 2.4, status is 18, and is pure puncture. Uh, and its unique trait is actually very, very nice. Hip-fired shots have a plus 60% ammo efficiency. Uh, headshots have plus 100% crit chance. Uh, so very, very nice. Uh, we're going to be covering a new bro build because everybody's going to be getting this for free. Um, we are going to lean more into raw damage. Uh, the status is enough that running a uh, some sort of strip or say viral stats where or a viral status build where you're trying to get to 10 stacks on something is definitely doable. Uh, but if you wanted to go into a full dot setup, you're going to have to try for it. Uh, and it's just sort of going to be working against what the gun is. Uh, but there are two main builds. There's the hip fire, and obviously there's the headshot one. So let's go over the new bro build, because uh, new bros will be getting this. So base damage, multi-shot, point strike, vital sense. We are going to dual 90 mod uh, for whatever whatever the, the enemy that you're going against is. Uh, equip dual 90, so say you're going against uh, Grenier, uh, normal Grenier, not Kuva Grenier, or yeah, the Kuva variant. You would just do 90 mods for whatever that is. Uh, then you would need fire rate, so speed trigger, and you would have a flex slot. You could equip another uh 90 like prime cryo or you could put 100 munitions here uh, due to the nature of the hip fire ammo efficiency i wouldn't say that a ammo mutation is inherently necessary especially at regular star chart levels uh it's absolutely not necessary especially doing hip fire so let's go over the da uh the damage Actually, we will get Grenier. There we go. Even on 225 Steel Path, you can still kill pretty easily, especially getting headshots. About 2k body shots. If you want to go for headshots, the damage does go up. Let's see, 82k. It is very, this weapon does reward you a tremendous amount for headshots, which is why with the steel path post arbitration setup, we are going to be having one to focus on each. So 23k, obviously ADSing and getting headshots. Yeah, 117, the damage goes way up. So that's going to be sort of how you're going to use it if you're going to use it for hip fire uh you can go you can lean into the fire rate a little bit uh even though the fire rate is 10 and the clip is 40 the 60 percent efficiency uh, is going to help you out a tremendous amount uh, if you want to run something like acceleration you can even go uh magazine size if you want um, though i would have polarity issues with that but prime magazine warp or regular magazine warp uh, is going to help you out a tremendous amount. If you didn't want to go uh, cryo, uh, you could do wildfire to get some sort of a dot on, right? Um, and then hammer shot would help you out for the uh, the crit. But all right, so that's that. Uh, let's go over the uh, steel path level. So you have steel path uh, arcanes. You have the arbitration mods. Damage is going to go up. Uh, the mods change, but their intent doesn't. Um, I was fighting the infested and put hunter munition on for additional stack for galvanized aptitude, but the, let's just go over the build. Primary merciless is going to be our base damage. Galvanized aptitude 
because we're dealing with dots uh, on gas, is going to be helping us get more gas procs. And the more stacks we have, the higher the galvanized aptitude is going to scale. So galvanized aptitude is going to be both base damage and status chance. Galvanized chamber is multi-shot. Crit del critical delay, vital sense for our average crit multiplier. Uh, and then we're going to have our two mods for the plus nine or the plus fifty percent damage against the enemy that we were going against. And hunter munitions was a flex slot. If I really wanted to lean into uh, getting more dots, I would have probably equipped either one of the elementalist mods here or a faction mod. Uh, and agile aim lines up with the exilus. This actually feels pretty good. This is the innate polarity as a V. Um, I and because of the ammo efficiency, I wouldn't say an ammo mutation is inherently required for this. But we're shooting Grenier, so let's go back over to corrosive. So malignant force, high voltage. All right, we're back. Where our damage before was two to three thousand, we're now getting about ten. Obviously, still scaling because the arcane needs twelve kills. Let's speed it up with some headshots. All right, so we're at twelve. Uh, damage nine point six, fifteen k. Headshot is one sixty five, seventy five, one thirty six, one fifty four. 2562. So there you can get oranges and again I'm not running vigilante. Um that's the main fire build, pretty basic, average crit multiplier, base damage, multi-shot, you an element that scales or reduces or deals with the scaling of the enemy that you're shooting against. So if it's like corpus, you can do like magnetic toxin, um gas for infested, uh radiation against uh like Coover Grenier, know which faction you're going against you know it is and merciless for the hip fire now the hunt and pecker build this does a surprising amount of damage uh i would recommend in order to make it a little bit easier uh putting acceleration on here because it is a little mod a little strict on the mods uh, but again same multipliers to go over it uh, Deadhead, rank 5, gives us the additional headshot multiplier, which is what we're going to be using. Obviously, minus recoil, which isn't a big deal on this weapon. Um, galvanized Aptitude, since this is going to be more of a demless centered build, uh, is going to be additional scaling on top of the Deadhead. Additive, of course, uh, with the headshot multiplier going to be multiplicative. Galvanized Chamber, uh, we are going to be double dipping to get reds consistently, like super consistently. Uh, with the passive, crit delay, galvanized shot, shoves us up into almost guaranteed reds. Uh, Stormbringer, infected clip, uh, to deal with what the plus 50% damage is uh, in terms of the enemy weakness. A bane for additional multiplicative damage. And vital sense and crit delay for average crit multiplier. And for a weapon that's inherently, you know, considered a bullet hose... Uh, this actually gets a little spicy. So we're already getting reds. 110. 49. 162. 388. 223. 130. 76. 574. 76. Let's get some priming. All right. Plank, 1.3 mil. One point three mil, one point eight mil, one point seven mil. So those are your general builds. Again, to just go over it, and that's on a single shot. And there's, you know, multi shot to be considered, and a uh, bunch of bullets in the magazine. So you can you can pretty easily dump with a completely 
primed enemy, you could probably dump a half billion damage easy into whatever enemy you're going against. And this is without uh, buffs from the frame, right? Um, so deadhead, average crit multiplier, however you want to get there. We are going to double up on scope to get those extra crit tiers. Uh, faction damage. The elements are the plus 50 of whatever the enemy is against. Again, we don't have to worry about you know, weakness or, you know, strength bonuses based on elements anymore. So just whatever the plus 50 is, there you go. Uh, galvanized aptitude, because we will be priming with the headshot build and multi-shot, of course. And again, for those that want to see the hip fire, I'm a big fan still against the, the Grenier, corrosive uh, with hunter munitions. Um, you could do corrosive with heat, uh, especially if you're doing like a full strip build. Enemy is going to get burned down anyway. But the the core mods, fire rate, base damage, multi-shot, average crit multiplier, and the Exilus slot, honestly, because of how efficient the hip fire is, uh, is kind of a flex slot. So anyway, I hope this helps, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a cool little weapon. I'm I'm glad we got this, and obviously, for those fashion framers, this is a hell of a good weapon to get on uh, with the Tenocon backpack, right? Feels good. Anyway, have a blessed day, guys. Thank you for watching.